Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. I'm so happy that you are here and in today's video I want to explain how I schedule my practice for the upcoming week. I use my Google Calendar. I think you can do that also on paper or with any other calendar app. I just um, started with the Google Calendar and I stick to it because I really like it that you can arrange it in different colors and um, you can see it on different devices. If you have Android or iOS, it works on both, um, but um, it should work on every software. I normally plan my practice schedule for the upcoming week on Saturday or on Sunday just because I have more time there and I get my work schedule normally on Friday so I know when I have time. As you can see in the calendar I have two colors. I have yellow for work and I have this pinkish color for my university. We have Azimut there and I just connected it with the Google Calendar system, which is very handy because then I don't have to put it in my calendar and I always see where the things are and it pops up automatically in my calendar, which I find very, very, very handy. These are my fixed appointments I have in that week, just work and university sometimes. I also have things that are outside of university or I made plans with friends already, but in this week I didn't. What I then put in is the time of my way. Normally I plan in about one hour um, way for me. I know for some of you it might be shorter. For me sometimes it's even longer here in London because the ways are just ridiculous and if I don't take my bike it takes me normally over one hour to get to school and to get home again. Um, so that's also something I have to calculate in my daily plan. Then I put in my practice time. I try to practice around 20 hours a week. That's my goal. Sometimes I practice more, sometimes I practice less, but I'm trying to put in at least 20 hours of practice in my weekly plan. I practice in two hour blocks. That's also how I schedule it in my calendar. As you can see, sometimes I don't have time for two hours, so I practice only one hour. But if it's possible, I do two hours um, with a break of at least half an hour between. As you can see, my practice starts at 9 normally. Sometimes I practice sooner but normally I start at 9 and I'm finishing with practicing normally at least at 8 o'clock. Um, what I then put in is when I can have my lunch for the day. Sometimes it's not possible to have one hour of lunch break but I do try to do that and as you can see not everything works out quite well so I'm just rescheduling everything um, how the times can be on that specific day. I normally do not plan my day on a Sunday just because that's my I would say buffer day when I couldn't do anything of the week. Um, I do it on Sunday and also sometimes I plan on the previous Saturday what I have to do on the Sunday and um, that's why I don't have um, anything planned on a Sunday normally. What I do then is that I think of my week and I see that I have not done anything socially that week which is not very great so I look up what I could do the following week and in this week I decided to go to a concert on Wednesday and I decided to meet some friends on Friday night. As you can see I also put in on Monday afternoon evening to do which means normally for me to do things that are necessary like grocery shopping or laundry or all this stuff I don't really like to do. Um, it's just good to block out a little bit of time for that. As you can see now the plan it's the ideal plan how would I would like to have the week. Of course um, sometimes things come 
in between and I can't practice to that exact hour but it just helps me to have like a great overview how much time I have available in this week for practicing and I do not procrastinate so much if I know yeah you planned in this practice time because you don't have time on the other days whereas when I'm not doing that I'm procrastinating more and I don't get things done and when I did them the hours of practice that I know when I'm going to practice I write that in my practice diary and plan my practice I hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos and I will see you in my next video bye